okay complete the square so it's going to be x and something in here and the something is always going to be half of that bit there it's plus six so that'll be plus three i will always work out what x plus three squared is so x plus three times by x plus three will give me x squared plus three x plus three more x which is plus six x and then plus nine so what i've actually written down x plus three squared is i've written down x squared that's marvelous I've written down plus 6x, that's marvellous, but I've also written down plus 9. I didn't want it to be plus 9, I want it to be minus 3, so what I'm going to have to do is take away 12, because 9 take away 12 is minus 3, and now that's okay, and I've got it in that form. So in, sometimes it wants you to tell you what a equals, a equals 3, and b equals negative 12. And that's all there is to this one for, th for the 3 marks. The minimum value, if you were asked for the minimum value, would have been minus 12, because the x plus 3 squared can never get below 0. And when would it be minus 12? It would be minus 12 when x equals negative 3, because that means the bracket would become 0, and 0 squared would be nothing. But it didn't ask you for that, it just asked you to write it in that form. And I did that there. That's 16 done.